What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hello, my name is Danielle. It's very nice to meet you. If you want to join this Dan fam, subscribe down below. So today I'm going to be filming a very much requested video. You guys know I love fashion and shopping and wearing trendy outfits and just kind of having fun with my fashion and my outfits. So I'm going to be filming a video all about dressing trendy or in style on a budget because I know it can be kind of hard sometimes when you love these like Instagram models outfits but then it's like you look at the tags on the outfit on their Instagram post and it's like Gucci, Prada, Fendi and you're like no can't do that. So I'm gonna be talking about my tips and tricks on how to dress super fashionable I guess. So I'm gonna be talking about my tips on how to dress trendy if you will and this is my form of trendy but like we might all have different forms of trendy while on a budget and staying cheap and trust me, there's ways, trust me. It's funny because a lot of you guys think I spend tons and tons of money on like really nice clothing, but like this shirt is like $15 from Lulu's. My pants are like $15 from Romway.com. Like this necklace was $30 on Etsy. Like it is possible to dress trendy on a budget. I literally randomly got this video idea. It's kind of inspired by Olivia Jade because she kind of did a video like this and I was like, that's a really cool idea. So I wanted to share my tips on it because a lot of you guys always ask me how I'm able to create so many different outfits. So I wrote a little list on my phone here and we're just gonna get started also if you want to see more of like my outfits and such and how I dress make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post all of my outfit of the days I post very often so that's definitely where you can get a sense of my style so the key to dressing trendy while on a budget is to buy inexpensive clothing and then if anything dress it up with nicer accessories I do a majority of my shopping at forever 21 Shein.com, romway.com Zara if there's a sale Target um, H&M like I go inexpensive clothing wise just because I'm always buying new clothing and I'm always wanting new trends that I don't want to spend like $200 on one shirt that I'm gonna wear like four times like that's not really worth it to me so what I'll do is I'll wear like a shirt from forever 21 pants from Zara and then I'll dress it up with either a nice bag or or with some nice jewelry that I might have received for a birthday gift just something nicer or at least nicer looking and it makes your whole outfit look really expensive like people always assume my outfits are from like Topshop and even just more expensive than that and I'm just like no like I just I just know how to dress no I'm kidding I'm not trying to, I'm just like trying to help you guys so I know a lot of you guys get kind of stressed out about shopping in forever 21 a lot of my friends hate it like when we go to the mall they avoid forever 21 because I understand you walk in the store it's very overwhelming there's lots of clothing it's all over the place it's a little messy sometimes but you can find some great gems a piece of advice if you want to have that cool classic trendy style walk into forever 21 walk into H&M go to their basics area that's two things helpful one is you're gonna be able to make a lot of different outfits with basics like black and white tees, black and white crop tops, black and white tank tops, gray tank tops, bodysuits, those kinds of things and they're gonna be super inexpensive like $10 or under and you can wear those multiple times and pair it with different outfits and secondly it's just a lot easier to find so you just go straight to the basics area you're not like worrying about like this section is the bohemian section I need to find a shirt here like it's just so much easier and it's just a lot more trendy anyways so if you want to start your little wardrobe I say go to forever 21 get a black bodysuit maybe a cool white crop top um, just some basics and then from there you can make so many different outfits and pair it with so many different things my favorite look right now is just like a simple white black or gray top with blue jeans I think that's a great look and it's super in right now as for accessories my one accessory that I do recommend and it definitely makes for a very trendy cool looking outfit is a structured bag I personally like black structured bags and those are sometimes hard to find um, but this is like my favorite little black structured bag it is perfect it is from Rebecca Minkoff so it was like a little bit more expensive like one to two hundred dollars but I got this at Nordstrom Rack Nordstrom Rack is a great place to go if you want like a um, an inexpensive designer bag that's pretty cool looking so this one's from Rebecca Minkoff I got it at Nordstrom Rack I think it was like a hundred something dollars which is like pretty good if that's gonna be your splurge item instantly if I add this to any outfit I can hold it at the crook of my arm you can wear it on the side you can wear it crossbody it makes your outfit look super dope I'm telling you that much so any sort of structured bag I mean they sell them at forever 21 again I love forever 21 um, but like all different places even Target has really cool bags that can make your outfit look that much better I also believe that hairstyles affect how your outfit looks so if you want to go for that trendy vibe and you're wearing your basic shirt and your cool jeans and some white vans or like some cool slides that's like my go-to outfit with your black structured bag go for like a sleek low bun sleek low bun looks really trendy or you can do like 
I call it the Jennifer Aniston pony. I don't know why. I just feel like it looks like something she would do. Um, you can pull like some hairs out in the front. Super chic again. Or I've been rocking this look a lot when your hair is straight and you just put your hair behind your ears and you kind of just like keep it back like that. That instantly makes your outfit look pretty cool even though it's your hair you're working with. I think it's important to own a really good pair of high-waisted jeans. When I say a really good pair, it doesn't necessarily need to be expensive but they need to fit you well and they can go with a lot of different things. You can even go to a thrift shop and find some cool like boyfriend jeans or PacSun has great jeans. I love Topshop jeans if you want to splurge a little bit because those instantly make your outfit look so great. Forever 21 even has some really good things. You definitely need to try them on. I found some great high-waisted jeans on Romway and Shein.com. Either way, I think it's really good to have a nice high-waisted pair of jeans that you can pair with a ton of different outfits. Like I love a good look when you wear like high-waisted jeans and like some really cool slip-on high heels or like whatever like some flat forms just any sort of high heel with a jean looks really nice I also think um, big aviators and specific big black aviators like those really cool ones from Quay or I've seen them at forever 21 they look super luxurious and like really really cool and trendy again I hate saying the word trendy a thousand times but that's kind of like what this view is about and I also think reflective sunglasses are really great so I mean if you want to spend a hundred dollars on a pair of reflective Ray-Ban aviators go for it or the Ray-Ban circle aviators but the more inexpensive version, I've seen so many really cool reflective um, sunglasses at Forever 21. Really cool ones at Windsor or WindsorStore.com. They have a lot of really cool reflective sunglasses and those instantly make your outfit look super cool and they look really good at Instagram pictures. Lastly, I'm a big fan of gold jewelry. Not necessarily real gold jewelry. I don't really have much real gold jewelry. Um, I'll go to places like Forever 21 again or even like Claire's or PacSun and get a ton of like really small delicate gold rings. They sell them in packs and they'll have like seven and you can like put a few on each finger. They have knuckle rings. I just think having gold rings with like a nice nail color looks really good and luxurious once again. Just gold jewelry in general like <clears throat> I always wear some sort of delicate gold necklace. It just makes everything look really nice, classic, chic. Um, I also have a few gold bangles that I wear from mantraband.com with different quotes on them. Um, and they're like $30. It's really how you dress. But anything gold-ish looking looks really nice. As long as it's not like a cheapy gold. So those are all my tips for you guys. I really hope this video was helpful. It's just something that popped in my head and I started writing these things down and I'm like, I genuinely want to help out you guys and see. So I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm genuinely curious if this video helped you guys out and if it did, please comment down below and let me know and let me know <clears throat> the next video you guys would like to see on my channel. I'm trying to do content that you guys want to see. I know I've been doing a lot of vlogs, but I still want to do fashion, beauty, lifestyle videos, all that fun stuff. I love you guys so much. Make sure to pre-order my backpack. The link is down below. I'm so excited. It's pre-order until August 15th and it's still, it's now available for international shipping. It's just a different way you have to go about it. You have to email someone. So the link is down below or the information is down below if you want to do international shipping for my backpack. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Bye-bye.